Hello, my name is Michael McCarthy, and in this video we'll be going over Autodesk 3ds Max Cat and using some adjustment layers to work with the animation. So we'll go into Create Helpers and create a cat object, cat parent. We'll just choose our alien here. Right click to stop the creation process. And we'll go into the motion panel to start adding some motion. So the first thing that we'll add is just click on this layer and we're going to add a cat motion layer. We'll be looking at the cat motion layer a little bit later, but this is just going to give us a little base animation to deal with. So when we click on that, you'll see it'll give us a quick procedural walk cycle that we can kind of play with in our layer stack. So with that in there, we're going to look at the two different types of adjustment layers. If you click on the layer types here, you can see we have an L and a W for local and world adjustment layers. I'm just going to add a local adjustment layer. So again, we'll click on available and click on local adjustment layer. Now an adjustment layer in CAT is very much like an adjustment layer that you would see in Photoshop or something like that. It basically is going to add to the motion that is below it. So it's kind of like a semi-transparent animation layer that's going to build on the animation that is below it. As opposed to the absolute layers which kind of completely replace the animation that's below it and you need to blend in and blend out different pieces. This is going to do uh, something a little bit different just to add to that animation. So as this guy is walking around here we'll just go ahead and add some animation. So let's say around frame 30 we'll turn on auto key and we're on the adjustment layer and we'll make this character look over at us and let me just copy this key over so we have some nice hold key and then the character is kind of looking over maybe have him kind of look up throughout there and then back to his walk cycle and actually we can just copy this key the hold keyframe to bring it exactly back to zeroed out so now what we have is we have our animation and the character quickly looks up and looks back maybe we want to just adjust that so it's not quite as jerky and you can see that we can just easily adjust the keys like we do with our basic 3ds max tools and we don't have to adjust whether it's local or global or anything like that we can just put in that animation there and the real beauty of this is we're only affecting that head turn you can see that the bobbing of the head and the other things kinda come along with that adjustment layer so that's kinda nice now the other type of adjustment layer if we just kinda remove this is going to be a W or world adjustment layer. Now the difference between these, uh, if you're not familiar with doing too much stuff in local and war world coordinates in 3ds Max is a little bit about the pivot point and a little bit of how it blends with the animation below it. The way that I like to think about it is the local adjustment layer is really more about blending with the animation that is below it and it is kind of an additive effect to that animation so um, you can kind of add on to that animation the world adjustment layer I like to use or like to explain it more like an offset so while you can add animation um, to whatever is below it it's a lot better for doing kind of offset animation so just moving something forward or animating it moving forward or something like that so what we'll do is we'll take this guy and with the world adjustment layer we're just going to move that neck forward. So now what we have is when we play this back you can see that it kind of moves that in a different place and I like to use this for adjusting those types of things really easily in world coordinates so you know maybe moving these arms out because he has a really large body around the character or something like that and these things will kind of play well like that which works really nicely and maybe moving the feet in a little bit in places. We'll go back to the first keyframe here. And just kind of move that in. Okay. And we can do some of the things that we were doing before. Which is turn that head over and 
return it back. So these adjustment layers are really very useful in working with your character and adding on and adding on to your different animation. You can use them for specific parts, you can set up the weights on them and things like that and they work very nicely for adjusting your animation as a whole.